Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're diving into the world of multi-back and specifically talking about the price action of MTV. As we get into this video guys, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new, why not subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. Right, with that said, done out of the way, let's dive right down into this technical analysis on multi-back. And we're going to just kick start things guys with this daily chart. We're going to keep this pretty brief, uh, just go through some of the highlights of what's going on and what we could be expecting to happen next. As you can see, we do have a Fibonacci retracement tool on here from the high up here of 1.8 cent and the low down here at, uh, what was that, 0 0.0019. So incredibly cheap. This here was in fact my buy zone. This is where I was buying up a significant portion of um, multivac, right? And again, we're communicating this out to the members. So if you're not a member, you may have missed out on this, uh, this opportunity to, to basically find this buy zone, uh, at least where I was buying up multi-bag. Um, nonetheless, there was some additional opportunities that uh, were around down here and also over here as well. Um, so we've seen some pretty good motion to the upside with multi-back. We've seen a good uh, consolidation um, just around our previous high area here. We obviously have been setting some new all-time highs and we have had some volatility for some pullbacks as well most recently in line with everything else that's going on in the space. Now multi-back is a micro cap coin um, and uh, by this we mean the fact that its market capitalization is relatively small in comparison to others. Obviously we know that market capitalization doesn't actually make too much difference um, it is basically a simple cal calculation of the last sold price multiplied by the circulating supply. Now, what we actually mean by a micro cap coin in, in true sense of the word is it, it hasn't got a lot of money at, in it, right? And, and many cryptocurrencies don't generally have too much money in them anyway. Um, but obviously, when it comes to a small project like Multivac in terms of that market cap, um, it has significantly lower funds, right? Which means that liquidity can get hit pretty hard. And you see swings in the market, right? You see things push up. Uh, pretty rapidly and you see things pull down ra pretty rapidly, right? Uh, and that's what you really saw with multi-back in those early days, right? You saw huge volatility, huge swings, uh, you know, in all different directions, right? Down, up, down, up, all these wicks, right? You see them all over the place, right? And then it started to get a little bit more stable as we started to run up. It is still quite volatile and people do act emotionally with these these types of projects, the ones that have a little bit less liquidity. Um, but overall, um, not too much of a problem because this is a project that has some absolute fantastic technology and uh, the team is also pretty solid now we've obviously spoken about multi-back mul multiple times over and um, it, we do see this thing being you know incredibly powerful in the future as well right and uh, the main net's only just gone live staking's only just gone live i think there's like three point something billion um, in circulation i can actually just check that and we bring up multi-back here uh, multivac uh, data. So yeah, we got 3.5 billion in circulating supply of which, um, yeah, I think we have like 2.5 billion staked. There's actually 1 billion in circulation right now. Um, so a pretty low circulating supply. We've really got that squeeze, right? So a little bit more money flowing in and the needle will move rapidly to the upside, right? So what we are looking for is a huge surge as we get out of this slump that we're in at the moment in September. And I do anticipate that October is going to be a huge month for multivac. I do anticipate that we're going to see some fantastic highs get set and uh, some expectations just are going to blow people out of the water. Um, so overall, everything's looking pretty good on this daily chart, really consolidating down around here, well above our 786 area. So we're holding up well under pressure. And again, that really comes down to the fact that so much of it is actually delegated away and uh, the squeeze on that supply, right? It's not easy. You have to wait for uh, several days before you can undelegate and actually sell your tokens. Um, so when you start seeing volatility, volatility in the market, if you're staking, you're not necessarily going to be able to act emotionally with it, which is actually a pretty good thing because I think acting emotionally is a pretty bad idea considering we are in a bull run and we're not in a bear market and all you're really trying to do is is panic sell and that's never a good idea, guys, at least not in my opinion. Um, so overall, we are looking for some pretty good interesting moves to the upside, right? And uh, that should be expected uh, as we kind of finish things off. Now, we can, of course, see like many of these altcoins, a cup and handle kind of pattern forming here. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination though. So uh, we either are going to pull back down a little bit lower with some volatility to finish off the handle before surging to the upside, or we're just not actually going to complete this pattern at all. Okay, so we'd be mindful over that. Um, but obviously there was a start of this pattern in line with many of the other altcoins in the space. But I do think it's very unlikely to actually occur and complete 
on multi-back, um, not in the same way that we see it with many of these other projects. So overall, everything's looking pretty good um, for, for the most part here on this daily chart. Um, so at this point, we are going to jump over to the UVI dashboard. We're going to load up the multi-back data and see if there's anything that we should be concerned with. So for those who are unfamiliar, um, UVI.io uses artificial intelligence machine learning to give us the underlying value of a cryptocurrency. And this is something that is really powerful when you don't necessarily get all this data from the charts. There is a link in the description below. We have partnered up with evi.io on the channel and um, this artificial intelligence is right more often than not so i do think it's worth checking out you can sign up for free you can get into these charts and into this data here and really help you understand what's going on in the background of your coins and um, so with a multivac mtv we are a b1 rating overall it's not changed uh, in the last 24 hours and we get a little bit more detail as we go down here. We can see the AMI had ratio is an A2 rating. So no problems with liquidity, which is good to see. Uh, we see the fear and greed index is actually a C3. It's extremely fearful, right? So it's actually come down a little bit in the last 24 hours. Uh, it's still been pretty much extreme fear um, for the last uh, few days. And we come down a little bit lower. The sharp ratio is an A2 above the 50 day average. This is actually indicating the risk reward ratios in our favor and not problematic. And um, so that's actually a good thing to kind of just note right although we have sentiment that is quite fearful um the risk reward ratio is still in our favor these two things are, are generally quite opposite each other which is not normally what you see right and normally these two things would be in line right you have an extreme fear you'd be below your uh, 50 day average and uh, basically the risk to holding multivac would be lower right because there's so much fear in the space but actually what you're seeing here is we're in a bull run and uh, the risk reward ratio is in your favor and there's a few people acting emotionally um, and selling their mtv at discount and that's what this is telling me personally and um, so overall this this is a really interesting thing just to note right we have an a2 liquidity we have an a2 sharp ratio we have an a2 moving averages and we have an a1 profitability which one's the odd one out it's the fear and greed index. The fear and greed index at a C3 doesn't fit with the rest of the model here. And so we obviously, well, we should, and we should expect, right, volatility on the smaller timeframes. Um, and that volatility is an opportunity, okay? Because when people are selling and they're dropping the needle on multivac, you can buy up at a discounted rate, okay? And um, everything else um, from liquidity through to sharp ratio, profitability, moving averages, everything else is telling you that actually you want to be in this project, right? Um, and yet the fear and greed index people are, are not aware of this and not aware of the underlying data. They've succumbed to fear and they are selling at a loss or they're selling with very little gains, um, not anticipating a big push to the upside, right? Um, and again, we see lots of talk around Bitcoin dropping down to 20K, for example, or Bitcoin dropping to 34K, 38K, um, all these other numbers. And then, sure, they're possible. Everything's possible in the crypto space. Um, but obviously, as a result of that talk, you see lots of fear enter the market across many different areas, right? And this is exactly what you see with multivac. Being a micro cap coin is affected by that fear in the space quite well. Well, and as a result, anyone who's aware of what else is going on in the background here um, is able to pick up MTV at a discounted rate. Okay, so for me, that's quite a, a pretty good one to see. Uh, it's good to see that data kind of spelt out to us um, that uh, the market is fearful for MTV right now. Um, but overall, everything else is looking very, very good. Um, so when we jump down into our hourly view and we actually review what's going on here um, on the hourly, well, we can see a good surge to the upside, almost coming up to all-time high, getting rejected by Bitcoin, etc. cetera. Um, and then we see this volatility. But what are we doing? Well, we're consolidating down on this support line. This previous area of resistance just over here is an area that's turned to support. We've been wicking below it, but we've not been able to stay below it, right? We, we drop down and then we just surge right back up again. It's almost like saying that this area here has become a buy zone, <laughs> uh, although this here was actually the buy zone. This is the one that I highlighted to the members most recently before we surge to the upside over here um, and ultimately what we're looking for now and, and by the way that comes in at uh, 1.6 cent okay so when we drop down below 1.6 uh, that was an, an opportunity um, I don't think we're going to drop down to 1.6 but if we do there's an opportunity there make sure you, you pay attention to what's going on not financial advice but um, that's where I tend to be buying up the dips these days um, so yeah right now actually looking at the support line looking at where we are in the stochastic this is actually now looking like an interesting buy the dip scenario uh, personally now my bags for multivac are, are, are completely packed i'm not going to cram any more in there i don't think um but obviously it's good to know where i would be buying if uh, if uh, that helps people out 
Um, so right now we can obviously see that this is an interesting point. We find support. We are heading to the oversold area. So we should be looking to push the price up in the next few hours, depending on what the market is doing. Obviously said, there's extreme fear in the market, right? So um, ultimately from here and that kind of perspective, we should expect volatility. Uh, we shouldn't expect a huge price push to the upside. Instead, we should expect a, a mediocre push because people are unwilling to buy right now um, versus a potential deeper pullback. Now, it's unlikely that we're going to pull back down here um, considering where we are in the stochastic. But, you know, if Bitcoin does decide to, to have a reversal and to pull back down, then Multivac will probably bottom down all the way into the oversold area and tank down a little bit lower. And um, that's just the fear that's in the space. That's an opportunity, right? Um, ahead of where we are going. Because as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm expecting October to be an absolute amazing month for Multivac overall. Um, so right now, as long as Bitcoin behaves itself, I think we should slowly rise our way back up. And I'll, we'll probably find resistance up here about 1.95 uh, and then slowly work our way back down. Um, I'm not expecting us to do anything amazing just yet. We'll probably consolidate around this area as we have done um, for a while. That being said, though, um, sometimes when we drop these videos, they have a bit of an impact and sometimes they just start a bit of a craze to, to push the price to the upside overall. And so I'd be mindful over those kind of scenarios. But otherwise, from a technical point of view, I'm not expecting it to move up rapidly. I'm expecting it to kind of trade in between uh, these areas here. Uh, 2.1 and uh, 1.79 those are the pretty interesting areas i think that we're going to continue to trade sideways in until we kind of get out of september and then i do anticipate us moving to the upside in a really strong way um and again if we do drop down lower because of bitcoin then pay attention to the 1.6 cent area this is an area that we've uh, we've seen come into before and an area that we will be moving out of rapidly afterwards so um, an area that i would be buying if i were uh, not already packed if that were the case so um pretty good to know and overall guys that is why i'm going to leave this video it looks pretty good on the daily we've got some pretty good expectations as we move further forward and uh, the hourly i am expecting more volatility the underlying data is very interesting everything's looking pretty good from the underlying data perspective the ai has only picked up on that extreme fear in the space and other than that everything else is looking pretty good so guys if you have found this video useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new why not subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one